had to compose mashup, what band did you mash up? Maybe something by Fever Ray, and then something folky like Fleet Foxes, or the other end of the spectrum like metal, like Mastodon or something. I don't think I would even attempt to like try and make them sound good together. I would just pick like a really good uh, symphonic piece, like probably uh, Beethoven's uh, second movement of the Seventh Symphony, and put that, and then put some pretty aggressive band on top of that, and just kind of experiment. So maybe like something like the Pixies or something, just like a complete, not even mashup, just a fuck up. How about like Joanna Newsome and the MIA? one thing in your life that keeps you going, what would be one or two other things that keep you going, not counting human relationships? Oh, um, yeah, I was totally going to say my family, but um, not counting human relationships. Um, the idea of taking information and sensory perception and turning it into something else and taking ideas, having ideas, you know, and, and just creativity in general. I guess I have two things. I work for Greenpeace as a web web editor is my official job title. I'm just basically an online campaigner for Greenpeace and that, as you might imagine, is extremely rewarding work um, when we win. And then also, uh, you know, I do a lot of writing, uh, not just for my job, but outside of my job. You know, I've written a novel and many short stories and me and Mark work on a lot of sci-fi writing together. Uh, writing and uh, boxing. We're talking about boxing. Or actually, I mean, any vigorous, regular exercise, I would say, right now it's boxing. Definitely correct in assessing a uh, certain brosif type, uh, you know, picking on each other, <laughs> collegial atmosphere within our band, and no topic we like to crack each other up more about than pointing out each other's foibles. How does that have an effect on your relationship? <laughs> Mark always, Mark always pointing out that I'm colorblind. Yeah. Well, you know. Pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it's pretty it's awesome that he title. points out my deficiency all the time. It's just rocks. It's just rocks. rocks. It's just rocks. They're really pretty blue rocks. Mike can't see it. So. It's definitely like a form of camaraderie and uh, it's also so ironic because obviously we're really good friends. And of course the insults are completely ludicrous. Like, mm -hmm. They don't even make sense half the time. I don't point out your, you know, shortcomings. Yeah, you do. What what shortcomings do I have, Mark? The hair, mostly. The hair? Yeah, that's the biggest one. <laughs> Personality, not so good. I wouldn't say my hair is a shortcoming. <laughs> Mark's just jealous that I know how to use a cell phone, is really what it is. A what phone? Like to keep my man like fat and happy. Keep me fat. I try with this guy, but look at him, he goes through it. That's how dudes get to know each other to some degree. I can't believe Dan doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> That's fucked up. I can swim. <laughs> I can swim. <laughs> it does, like, it helps with tension, tense moments when we're practicing and, and coming up with stuff, like, where we just don't agree on something. You know, that kind of thing builds and stays around, and you have to break it up somehow. So why are you the one that always cooks, Mark? Uh, I mean, we kind of, they all help out, but I like, I like to cook. I'm the ideas man. Oh, I see. Mark does the execution. I Mark, see. Mark does the least while we're actually playing music. So. There you go. So I got <laughs> to like I got to stay he feels like he's on gonna, the payroll. Yeah. <laughs>
and plus it's a lot of fun. We provide each other with so many just golden opportunities. <laughs> you just couldn't pass up on I mean. <laughs> that was just some sexiness bubbling out of no, uh, me. Sexiness apparently takes a gas form. It's the G in my G stands for gaseous. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck how right you are around. <laughs>